Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak uh, the iPhone iPod Touch and iPhone 3G with the new version of 1.2.5. Uh, I know this video is late, um, like a week late it seems like, but um, I wanted to go ahead and do it. I was going to do it. I've been wanting to do it for about a week now, but uh, I just haven't really had time. I've tried it a few times and I've just had some problems. But um, <clears throat> here's the video. I'm going to only show you how to use the um, one pawn feature not the quick pawn feature because I've had so many problems with that app and I got it to actually work once um, I don't know if my computer or what but um, I'm going to show you how to get on with this now um, what you're going to need to do download one pawn 2.5 and download the iPhone uh, firmware that you're going to use and I would recommend go ahead and I'm only going to give you the link to the 2.0.2 firmware um, because that's one you need to be on um, everything works with it and it's got some bug fixes in it and yeah I'm going to show you how to jailbreak that now just make sure you download one pawn and the new and the 2.0.2 firmware and save both of them to the desktop and install one pawn 2.5 but before you install one pawn 2.5 um, you're gonna need to uninstall any previous versions of one pawn or you could have some problems with that um, somebody's calling me actually let me but um, I'm gonna show you how to do that now make sure you uninstall as I was saying sorry about that just go to control panel add or remove programs and uninstall one pawn all right, um, now I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, so let me get my camera set up. I'm going to have to do it with my hand. Hold it with my hand. All right, we're going to open up one phone. Okay, all right. Now you're going to have to build your IPSW. Um, and let me show you this first. Actually, if you go up here into the top uh, left-hand corner, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and click this little bitty pineapple up there and then go down and click check for updates. Go ahead and click that and then it's, as you see it says there's no update available. Okay, you're going to want to do that before you use it just to make sure there's no updates. Alright, now when you're going to select your device. Um, actually, you're going to need to turn expert mode on. Sorry about that. Turn expert mode on. Alright, now select your device. Select the 2.0.2 firmware, the one that you downloaded. Alright, next. Alright, now, um, do you want to unlock the iPhone? If you're on iPod Touch, um, you can do that. I mean, you're gonna, not going to get this, obviously. But just go through the process. I'm just like, no. And do you want to install the YouTube activation fix? Yes, you're going to do that. Do you want to install Cydia? Installer. Do you want to resize the root partition? Um, I would not do that if I were you. You can do it if you want to. I don't really even use it. Okay, so no, no. And do you want to use custom boot and restore Legos? I'm just like, yes. Okay. Now here's how you use this part of it. Um, when you're on, when you see this button is on browse, this when you double when you click on this button, it will open up to browse from your computer, like browse image from your computer. Or if you click on this button right here, click on that and now it'll change the search online. You can double click on it and then the images will open up from online. So and that's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, just let it load up all the images before you. It won't let you do anything. Okay, I'm gonna select my restore images. Okay. And then I'll just leave that one like that. All right now, you're gonna hit next, and then it will do this. Just let it finish. All right, and now you're gonna select where you're gonna save the um, firmware. And if you don't turn on expert mode, you won't get this. Okay, so make sure you save it to your desktop. Make sure you save the custom firmware to your desktop. Hit save, and I hit cancel, uh, and then it will finish um, building the firmware. And once it's done building the firmware, I will come back and show you what to do. All right. Once it's done building your uh, custom firmware, uh, it's going to tell you that is your iPhone is it's going to ask you if your iPhone is turned off and connected via USB, and it says if not, go ahead and do that. So go ahead and turn your iPhone off and or iPod and plug it up to your computer. Um, yeah. All right. Let me close this thing. Up. All right. Now you're going to select. Once you've got that, you're going to select yes. Okay. Preparing. Blah blah. blah. All right. And now it says ready to start pwnage. For blah 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 blah. Okay, now what you're gonna have to do here is if you go through, if you turn expert mode off, um, it will tell you how to do this, or you can click on the help up here and it will show you how. But uh, basically, all you do it will count down for five seconds and get you ready. And once it's the five seconds are up, you're gonna hold, you're gonna press the power button in the top one and keep on in for five seconds. Then you will press the home button while you're still holding in the home button. Then you hold both buttons for about 10 seconds, and then you'll release the power button and keep holding in the home button for about 20 seconds until it tells you to stop. Okay, and that's it. So we're gonna go power both 
home. Okay. Once you click OK, we're going to start counting down. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Pressing in the power button for four, three, two, one. Now you're holding both buttons in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to release, release the power and keep holding in the home button until it tells you to stop. And it says 26 seconds, but I don't think it's that long. Just keep holding this in. Screen should go white. If it doesn't, it's fine. It should work. This is as long as you did it right. And if you get that, uh, qu if you get a question mark on here uh, saying that it hasn't been put in DFU mode right, um, you will need to try to reboot your phone. Hopefully, it will reboot. If it doesn't reboot. Like hold reboot it by holding in the power and home button until it re turns off and turns back on. Um, and if it doesn't do that, like turn back on like it normally would, um, just restore it in iTunes and then you can try this process over. Okay, so now you can release the home button once you see this and once it tells you in one poem that you can release it. Okay, and now all we're going to have to do is restore it in iTunes. So you can close one poem now. I'm just going to minimize it. Alright, so now we're going to open up iTunes. And make sure you keep it plugged up, and you'll see this on your iPhone. Open up iTunes, and let it read your iPod, your iPhone. And it'll say, it'll say it's been taken in recovery mode. It's really in DFU mode. Um, now you're going to hold Shift in, hold the Shift key in, and click Restore. Keep holding in the Shift while you're clicking Restore. Then we'll bring up this. Okay, and then you're going to select your custom firmware. Navigate to your desktop or wherever it saved it, or wherever you saved it. All right, and then you'll see... Custom, you'll see your regular 2.9.2 firmware that you downloaded, and you'll see custom. Okay, down you're gonna select the custom firmware and hit open and just let it restore. I'm gonna stop it because I don't want it to. Well, I'm not gonna stop it, sorry, I don't know why I did that. My iPhone's in DFU mode, <laughs> so select custom and let it restore. Um, and once it's done that process, you will have a jailbroken iPhone iPod Touch or iPhone 3G. Hey guys, uh, I would show you how to use the quick poem part of uh, 1.2.5. But um, I'm having a lot of problems with it. I have not got it to work once, actually. Um, if I were you, if you're wanting to use Quick Poem, then the faster jailbreak, I would just recommend using the older versions of Quick Poem. They work fine. Um, I have videos on them if you want to go check them out. I'm sorry that I don't have a version. I don't show how to use Quick Poem in this. If I can get it to work or if they update it to fix it, I will make a video on it. But um, for now, I would not recommend doing it since I'm having so many problems with it. I would not recommend doing it. So I don't get a million questions saying, oh, my iPhone messed up, I don't know what to do. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Um, if you have any problems, either first I would try to reboot. See my phone's stuck in DFU mode right now. I would reboot it, hold the home and power button in until it restarts. Um, or just go ahead and restore it in iTunes. But yeah, and oh, my, my camera just moved. Alright guys, uh, so yeah, that's basically it. I hope you liked the video. Um, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. And go join the forums at tiesiphonehelp.com. Bye. Oh, and if you're interested in the ads, if you see any ads anywhere or something like that, if you're interested in them, you could give them a click. If you're interested in the ads you see. <clears throat> Alright. Just if you're interested in them. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye.